Greetings, everyone. This is Cynthia Walker, the Executive Director of the Brickstore Museum, and we thought we'd jump in today to show you around our new Brickstore Museum website to help support the um, thousands or if not millions of teachers, students, and parents all headed back to school, um, whether virtually or in classroom this time of year. So we just wanted to let you know that we are here with activities, um, programs, virtual events, and support, as well as a feeling of community if you need it. So um, once you get to the brickstoremuseum.org website, <laughs> Uh, just go ahead and click or hover over the Learn tab. Go down to our Digital Learning Center. Click right there. And then, of course, you will uh, scroll down, get a little welcome message, and then you'll find everything uh, that you'll be able to find on our website all right here, right in the same spot. So this offers uh, video lectures. We have recorded uh, educational programs. We have um, archives and primary resources. If you ever want to investigate what people were writing and reading and doing um, in the history of the Kenny Bunks, we have a lot on victory gardening and how to do it yourself. We have online exhibitions uh, as well as um, curriculum kits and programs and do your do it yourself activities. Um, that go along with those exhibits. So I'll just show you around a little bit. If you click on online exhibitions and you can scroll down, we keep adding these all the time. Uh, the museum really greatly is, is looking forward to having um, a, a few interns this fall who are going to be helping us develop several more exhibitions. But one of, for instance, one of the uh, exhibitions that you can open is this first one we'll try, Vitamin B, How Food Fought the Second World War. And if you click on that, it'll take you to an entire exhibit and lesson on uh, World War II and how uh, food and propaganda helped the war effort. So you can scroll all the way down. I'll just scroll really quickly here, but we have some, um, obviously some posters, we have, um, collections items that we have in the museum's collections. We have things for you to read uh, from that era, all different sorts of things. And then as you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to find additional resources that have to do with that lesson. So in this case, we have a video lecture about um, food in the 1940s. We have curriculum kits and activities. If you click here about World War II, uh, you can learn more about the Victory Garden itself. And then, of course, if you click over here, you'll be taken to our oral history page um, that is currently being loaded with more and more oral histories, which are recordings from um, local people that are giving their history. So a lot to learn there as well. All right. So if we go back to the Learning Center, um, again, you can go to our Brick Podcast, which has about six ep episodes now that you'll be able to click. You go right here, you can scroll down, and you can listen to all of the episodes right on our website. Uh, this one even is a special on pandemic history, so we talk a lot about diseases and their histories. Um, and then the rest of the episodes really have, um, again, interviews with local subjects, um, a lot of different types of histories, things like that. If you click on Museum Multimedia, once again in our Digital Learning Center, you'll be able to scroll down a bit. Um, you can hear, uh, that's another link to our Brick podcast. You can take a tour with using our free app if you feel like walking around town. And then you can even explore our Kenny Bunk Voices series through this, these videos here that are posted. And what this is are um, modern day Kenny Bunkers or folks that live here in Kenny Bunk reading from the archives, various letters and diaries and things. So you can really, get a sense of what people were doing and saying and thinking about when they lived here from about the 1700s to the 1900s. I skipped over this, but I'll mention it. So we have all of our videos that includes our collections, um, tours, our lectures, and everything else in between. If you go to our YouTube channel, and that link is right here. If you click on our digital lectures, we have them all listed here. Once again, these continually get churned out by the museum when we have time. So these, this will 
be added to frequently, but we have our, you know, minute ranges with them. All you have to do is click on it and it'll start playing for you and hopefully be interesting. Once again, as I mentioned, our uh, oral history link is right here. Um, and then our cookbook gallery. So if you ever want to visit the cookbook corner, um, you can go to do that. I'll click and show you what that looks like. So you can either read the recipes and see what's different than today, or you can even test a recipe if you are that daring. <laughs> um, all you have to do is click on the page and it'll just bring it up for you. Show you an example if it's gonna load. There you go. So you, you'd be able to see kind of up close pictures of what's in our archives. Um, the last port portion that I want to highlight, actually two portions, um, again, there's the cookbook corner. You can find things there. Um, there's our Century Saturday portals that are all listed all together. So right now we have um, the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th century portals. And really, <clears throat> these are intended for all audiences. So if you come in here, um, each century comes with a digital exhibit and a lesson on what was going on during that century in Kennebunk. You have at least one lecture, if not two, about something that was happening in that, uh, in that era. And then of course you have a focus and some different, um, some different activities like this 17th century has make a map or make butter, sing a 17th century song, and then further resources to explore to kind of expand upon um, the lessons that are, that are going through these portals. So always check those out um, if you're looking for things to do. And then I just want to make a one last stop here at Educator Resources, which may have caught your eye far before my landing on it. But if you click on that, you'll be taking, taken to our resources page. Um, some of these obviously are not going to have much to do this year, like field trips. <laughs> um, but if you are interested in that, feel free to contact us here at the museum. Um, we have local history activities, like I said, the online portals where you can dig into history. We have um, the, with the help of our interns this year, we're going to be putting together some curriculum kits. Um, we have printable activities that we will, like I said, keep adding to. We have our lectures and our oral histories. So you have recorded lectures, you have oral histories. Um, we have recorded uh, artists um, for art class or for those who are interested in how artists got their jobs. Feel free to click on that. There are videos explaining more. And then um, you can always book uh, a speaker from the museum to come visit your classroom virtually. We always love to do that as well. And then of course there are primary resources, not only the cookbooks, but also just a, a gallery of what's in our archives um, that our collections manager uh, updates frequently. So you can take a look at that. So I just wanted to let you know that all of those things and more are uh, available here on the brickstoremuseum.org. Um, as you come to the homepage here, all of this is uh, listed right here for you. So we have our calendar, exhibits, collections, and everything else in between, and then some quick links for you to, to jump in right where, um, right where you need to go. So I hope that you enjoyed this little preview, and please let us know if you need any help. We always love um, putting together some custom packages or learning materials for anything that you might need. So please reach out to us at info at brickstoremuseum.org or give us a call at, at 985-4802.